Today, I'm going to show you how to make cauliflower mash VSG parade stage. Look how delicious it's looking. Come on, looking, looking. Come on, cheesiness. Where my G's at? Cauliflower could be very bland. Most of the time, people are boiling it with water. But to infuse some flavor in this cauliflower mash, we're going to boil it with some chicken broth, okay? We're gonna put some flavor in this thing here, all right? So I'm going to put it in there uh, with the cauliflower and let it come to a rolling boil. While the cauliflower is cooking, we're gonna get ready to have this thing taste good, good, all right? So just cover it up with the top and let it boil until it gets fork tender. Once you do that, you're gonna take out the water Drain the water as much as possible and put some butter in there. You can certainly skip the butter and use I can't believe it's not butter or omit this step altogether. We're going to mix the butter completely until it's dissolved. Then we're going to put sour cream in this cauliflower to give it a nice tang. You can also use light sour cream as well. Or if you're lactose intolerant, use lactate sour cream. There's life after bariatric surgery, y'all. Boiled egg and canned tuna is not our only option, y'all. We just got to be more creative. That's all. So now we're going to put some chive and onion cream cheese. You can also buy the reduced fat cream cheese if you'd like. We're just going to mix it up until they're both incorporated into the cauliflower to give it a great flavor so you won't feel deprived. That's the goal is to have low carb, high protein, flavorful recipes. You feel me? Let's go. Where my cheese at? Now we're gonna add some freshly ground black pepper. I didn't put any salt in here because we boiled the cauliflower with chicken broth. So that's enough salt already. And then we're just mixing the black pepper and we're going to start getting this more smooth because if this is for the parade stage, we definitely need it to be more smoother than this. So I'm using a hand blender that I bought at Aldi's. It was very inexpensive and I love it. If y'all got an Aldi's near y'all, it's always good to look into the appliance or like aisle that has non-food items i really love going into that aisle i'm telling you, you can find some good finds in there all right so i'm going to be putting the the cheese in there it's going to be the sharp cheddar cheese any kind of grated cheese you like but i prefer the the cheddar or the mexican blend or the italian blend whatever cheese you like and this incorporated into the sour cream the cream cheese with the cauliflower. The cauliflower can be a little bit bland, so I just decided to put some um, just all-purpose seasoning in. You could just put a little bit, like a pinch of it, into the mixture, which is going to make it a world of difference. And now we're going to prepare to bake it. This is the fun part. So I got these with, I forgot what you call this, y'all. Put it in the comments below and let me know what this is. You can put it in the microwave, but I love these containers because they give you the portion control that you need. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the cauliflower into like a funnel. You don't have to do this, but it helps me do it quicker. I'm spraying it with some non-stick spray so it won't stick. Each one of these are seven ounces. This is a good serving size for me, being five years out post-op. They also have smaller ones, which are three to four ounces. But with the parade food stage, your serving size is way smaller and you will get full quicker. You may be eating up to three ounces of food in one sitting. You can make a batch of it and put it in the fridge for the rest of the week. This dish is not just for uh, the parade stage bariatric surgery patients. This is for anybody because cauliflower bake is absolutely delicious and it's a great substitute for mashed potatoes. At this point, you can bake it right just like this. You can certainly sprinkle some of that cheese that you put inside on top as well. But you can certainly put it in the oven just like this, especially at the parade stage. Um, you don't want to have a lot going on. 
but I definitely put some without cheese on the top and some with cheese on the top. So voila, this is how it looks coming out of the oven, guys. Look at this beauty. It is absolutely delicious. You can see the bubbliness of it all, the crispiness of it all. And guess what? This is cauliflower. And this is something you can eat at the parade stage. It's absolutely delicious. I know we got the ricotta bake, but now we got the cauliflower mash bake. Let's go. Come on here. We can put a little bit of chives on top, or you can omit it all together. Actually, this is not chives. This is uh, parsley. So you can put that on the top, or you can leave it out. It's up to you. But this is how it looks after the oven, y'all. Come on here. I'm about to let y'all listen to some ASMR action going on. Let's go. I'm dropping back-to-back -back videos for the rest of 2021. Let's go. Wow. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm, good. Who would want to eat mashed potatoes after this? It's delicious. I love you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Let's go. VSG Love.